How's it going guys? It's time for another video and today is going to actually be the first in a series of support or how-to videos as a part of the Xbox Ambassador program. If you'd like to join in on the fun, be sure to go to community.xbox.com slash ambassadors and today we're going to be talking about how to add security information to your Microsoft account. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, as I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, we're going to be adding account security contact information. Um, this is basically another way that Microsoft can verify you are the person that you say you are. Also, the color of my shirt changed, which I'm not quite sure how that happened. Actually, I do know how it happened. It's magic. Anyway, we're going to want to go to account.microsoft.com. From there, your account page will load up with like things like recent orders, which by the way, I recommend all of these games because they're all awesome, as well as a bunch of different account information. But we're dealing with security and privacy. So from the top banner, select security and privacy. And the left hand uh, side of the screen will have more security settings. You're going to want to select that. So then you're going to want to look for add security information. And there's two ways to do this. You can either do it through a phone number or email address, though it's recommended that you do both. It's just an added layer of security. So if you select phone number, you're just going to want to add your phone number in there in this box and then verify phone via either text message or call. Once you select next, it will then send a message with that verification code to your phone number that you already have, the one that's already on your account. Um, this is just to make sure that you are that you're making the changes and not someone else. If you'd like to add an email address, select an alternate email address and then add the email address. Once again, it, uh, once you select next, it will send that verification number to the email address that's already on your account. Again, to make sure you're making the changes and not someone else. That verification number that you receive either way is going to be active for a few days, though you're going to want to get to it as soon as possible. And this is because if you lose your account in the time that you don't get to it, you may not be able to recover it. So that's recommended that you get to it as soon as possible. And after that, it's that simple. You've added another phone number or another email address to your account. Hopefully that helps. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you ended up liking the video or it helped you out in any way, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Also, leave a comment in the comment section below for any topics you'd like to see me cover. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.